making culture and music. <laughs> Have you ever heard of black salt? Well, I almost less even salts, but black milk. Because it stinks. Because it's wet? I was really excited. I was Is really excited. Patrick, yeah. I'll show you. I was excited for this, like, black salt. Yeah, you're good. You don't want it. But it, it's not like I thought it was going to be. Well, first of all, it says Himalayan black salt, and it's got a picture of a dude. See, like, I should have given you the cow. bigger one. It's, um... It's not going through the butter. Here it's, it is. There, wait, let's let's look in there. Bit of fat. We're getting there. Bit of fat in the bottom. The rest of it you can drain, I guess, huh? How's that? Okay with you? It's there. So this is what we do on a Friday night when we want to cook. We make our own butter. Right, Julie? We do. <laughs> Here, hold it over again. Over You're going to give me more? Wait a, a minute. Bit. A well, bit. I thought you were excited to get all that buttermilk. Well, just... You don't need that. Just hold the... <laughs> I don't want that chunks in here. <laughs> doesn't want chunks in his buttermilk. No. Okay. All right. All right. And that's that. That's that. Now we have to salt it, right? No, I have and to season wash it. the oh, butter. We're going to wash now the butter. Now I'm going to wash the butter. Julie is teaching me how to make butter because I, I've only done it in a mason jar before. So we actually did it legit tonight. butter that she made at the last wherever we were last time um, and I put it in the micro today because I needed it a little how do I get cold water cold is uh, forward <laughs> cold is forward okay so we're washing the butter could this be an Ikea could this be an Ikea commercial like washing the butter in the Ikea I used to be doing two quarts and I said, it doesn't look like very much butter if you only use one. Okay, Julie, why are we washing the butter? Because if you have buttermilk still in the butter fat, it will go rancid. And when you wash it really good, you can leave it on your counter for like three weeks and it won't go bad. That's amazing. And all, oh, really all of this too. color cloudiness is the buttermilk coming out of the fat okay so does this yep that was my question does that just get dumped out then yep and it's cold water because that will help the butter fat set and you can knead it like bread to get the rest of the butter milk out of it did we tell you we're in we're in Italy while we're doing this <laughs> <laughs> It tastes like charcoal. Is it weird or what? Okay, so so for you guys who I was talking about this black salt. I'm sorry, Julie. Um, this is the Himalayan black salt. All right. Uh, I was really don't, don't excited. Use, don't, don't use that black butter. It is not. <laughs> it, it tastes. It smells like sulfur to me. And oh, what did you say? It tastes like, like sulfur. So I don't know if we just got a bad batch or what. Um, well, it's, it, yeah, the, the salt turned it's just, black. Yeah, something's wrong. Well, <laughs> no, I mean like you know, like like uh, I don't know. We got the leftovers or something. So yeah, the water's pretty clean now. Okay. So now we can add in the spices that you want. What do you want? Do we have spices? Oh, well, yes, because we have a we have an apothecary, but I think. We do. No, 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 no. Let, let us leave it okay. Just John says butter. we're just gonna salt. put the salt in. Butter. How much you want? I don't know. Wee oui, wee, oui. John. Wee wee. Wee wee. Because you're turning the salt. You're cracking the salt. 
Because that's like a French thing, right? Like, no, we we. We we. So does uh, are you still pushing out some of the water? There's a little bit in there, yeah. And, and you just salt it to taste, right? Is yeah. That, there's no. What, however much you want to put in there, we okay. made a garlic and chive butter at porridge, and it was to die for. So your butter churn, um, did where did that come from? A resale shop. Ooh. And That's then awesome. I Croc made the top Crocs because it didn't have a ceramic top. Okay. It was the bigger one? No. The I, dasher? Uh, I bought the, the dasher. dasher from uh, J.P. Henderson's okay. and I bought the butter uh, scooper from another resale shop. See, so that's really awesome. And you guys. the bowl that I'm washing. And of course, the bowl. Another I mean, so reset. if you guys wanted, like, wanted to get a butter churn, I'm sure Jay Henderson uh, artifacts. They actually sell have the, them. They sell ceramic. They don't have the stripe on it. Um, I think it might be a little bit smaller than than this too, but they sell ceramic with a ceramic top and a dasher. But like, just think of all the cool stuff you guys can find at resale shops. And like, we do this all the time too. Like, we find a lot of cool stuff at resale shops. Um, so. What do you need? This? Yeah, can you put this butter in something else? Or yes. Are you going to eat that or you want me to just mix it? Do you it want in? me to just eat it right now? <laughs> well, no, just put it in this plate over here. Okay. Pa pa Patrick can do that. Pa pa Patrick. Okay, so this is like our our crazy our crazy thing that we're doing. We're getting rid of the, the, the older butter for the new butter. What? The butter mold. Do you guys know what a butter mold is? Can you explain to us what a butter mold is? This, this will have an image of a swan when you see it. When it's, it's right now, it's in reverse. Mm -hmm. It's a little hard to see, but when you and once we press into the butter, it's it's very obvious. And how long does that take? Uh, like well, you... it, what it says to do is to chill this, and then put your butter in it. And this is the base. You can pack it in and then force it down. So you have like a butter puck up okay. out about two inches deep but we're just gonna but eat. i just have it Dude. in this container that's so pretty and this is what i did um the last time i made butter was i just took this oh i see okay pressed it on top and now this has to chill until the butter gets a little harder um otherwise it'll it'll be all Duck and it won't be a, a sharp right. image. So, so we'll just chill we, that for So a we're going to put now. it in the fridge and then we'll come back and I will loop all these videos together for you guys so you, so you can see us from the beginning to the end. Look at, look at the gentleman taking care of that project for us. Look at that. They're like, oh, let's, let's try and find some room. Because the stick is sticking up. So oh, because the stick is so tall. Okay. Trying to find some, somewhere. How long does it. it take to put the butter in the fridge is the question. All right. Okay. So that's it, guys. We will come back in a little oh. bit. And your hands get so super soft. soft we're, and we're not doing cooking shows. Show what's coming up next. Or are, are, we, are we cooking, or is this going to be like a Facebook Live thing? We're, we're going to eat these raw. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new thing. This is steak tartare, only it's not even scraped up like you should do. It's just going to be chewy tartare. But, <laughs> but we do like it that way. Yes, and John, John and Patrick are amazing cooks. So we're all amazing cooks, actually. But um, so, uh, so this right here is going to be our um, what do you call that crust? Uh, th th that's our tartar seasoning. Oh, our tartar seasoning, you guys. Um, and it is uh, espresso and.